is new reporting tonight on who is getting vaccinated and who is not. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell breaking down this data and what it now reveals. Since early April, all adults in Florida have been eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. Still today, studies indicate who may be holding out from rolling up their sleeve. The quicker we all get vaccinated, the quicker life is really going to return completely to normal. A Kaiser Family Foundation analysis from earlier this month found unvaccinated adults are significantly younger, with 29% of those in the group falling in the 18 to 29 year old range and 41% 30 to 49 years old. That's compared to 20% for unvaccinated people 50 to 64 and 9% for unvaccinated people 65 and up. I asked USF Health's Dr. Thomas Unash about the data for younger age groups. I think the fallacy is, oh, COVID is not really that bad for us. If you look at the, the, the mortality numbers, people in my age group really are dying from this thing. Um, so I'm just going to take my chances because chances are if I get it, I'm not going to die. And uh, I don't really know about this vaccine. But Unash says that doesn't consider quality of life. A large percentage of the people who are getting this in these younger age groups are having long term effects that are associated with the disease. Inability to uh, smell or taste. A lot of people are getting brain fog. If you're in a, uh, a career that requires you to, to think carefully and all of a sudden your brain's not working very well anymore. Uh, how's that going to affect your job and your job prospects? The CDC reminds people the COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. UNASH explains it's still important to get your shot to protect yourself and the community. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.